Hey, how's it going? It's John again. I'm playing Immaculate Grid. I'm going for low time, low rarity score. I'm playing grid number 530, making up some old grids that I missed on uh, on a work trip. Uh, this would have been uh, Friday, September 13th grid. Just completely botched grid 531. I was going for all brewers, and I picked a guy who was born in the United States who uh, as uh, my second pick uh, for that outside the U.S. category. So um and i botched the time drown even uh made a mistake there so we'll try to do better this time around let's share let's go for it playing grid number 530 one day late uh we're gonna bring up 530 there we go hit and play hit and go and away we go all right so this is a james shields combination i believe yep this is a maglio ordonia's Frank Thomas certainly hit more than 300 in this season. So did Tony Gwynn. And Fred Lynn hits both these teams. 2%. Uh, let's see. Tampa Bay and uh, San Diego. It's Will Myers, right? And then uh, McGriff played for Tampa Bay and LA. Only 3%. Uh, obviously, Dodgers, Kirk Gibson. And Cody Bellinger hit 300 at least one year. All right, 194 and 47 seconds. Let's see, Gibson, Glass now is the leader there. Snell, totally forgot about him for some reason. Uh, has a no hitter this year, even. But I was right on the top row here, and then I got uh, Tony Gwynn, Gary Sheffield taking it. Nice. Um, he'll also work here. All right. Well, let's see how uh, how this goes. We'll just do a straight rarity round this time around. I'm gonna do a stop share and a reshare. Find my other failure from today right there, and we won't hit refresh because this is previous grids. There we go. All right. And now we got a little time. So where to start? Uh. Debbie Cruz usually works pretty well here. So he's still sub one. Detroit and LA, I'm gonna go schoolboy row. Still at point one, it's pretty good. Let's see, uh, Dick Cox in 1925 and 26, I remember him having 300 seasons. Sweet. The White Sox. I think my guy is a gentleman named Steve Eddy. No, it's it is Eddie though. I think it's Don Eddy. The the year was just a little off because it has to have been pre DH. It is this guy. That's the guy. All right, cool. And then I don't know. I, I'm trying to remember if I had a Padres guy for 300 batting average, and the answer is might be that I don't. Um. I think maybe Roberto Almar, Bip Roberts. I'm not sure on Steve Finley. Wally Joyner, I'm pretty confident in though. Let's go Wally Joyner. 98 time frame. Go sub one there. Um, I'm wondering if I can get lower than the 3% I got. I think Roberto Hernandez works. He also works up here, but let's use him here. He goes sub one. And then here we could go Dave Martinez. He definitely works. 1%. Nelson Cruz will work here. Nelson Cruz is always popular whenever I try to play him. I went Will Myers, I think, and James Shields also would have worked here. Um, don't want to do any of those guys. I believe Jose Cruz Jr. works. Right? Didn't he hit both the Diamondbacks? And pretty sure. Nice. Point one. And then let's see. Detroit and Chicago. Um, Ruben Sierra. Let's get him in there. 0.5 rarity of three. I'll take it. 
uh, much better than my, uh, so I got a good time and a good rarity, much better than my Saturday grid, um, 531. So, uh, was I able to, I, I don't actually know if Ken Williams would have worked for like the White Sox, but, uh, I'll take it pretty good score all the way around. Thank you so much for playing and we'll be back at it, uh, a little bit later. All right now, peace.